Hi, my name is Hunter Page Lashard, and my role in Barons is Reginald Thompson, Reg. At first glance, the, the the feud was something that really intrigued me, and 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 that you know seeing that part of surf culture and that and that history of um, surf culture and and exploring that world and time of Australia. Um, you know, we've we've seen it as a background in in, in, in kind of shows and, and used as devices, but we've never seen it as, as something that's the forefront of the you know the the front of the story. Um, so that so that was very intriguing. I would say that it's a high octane you know relationship drama between a group of friends that are struggling to deal with a fast emerging world of business and and you know social politics and and etc as well as just trying to be free and belong to each other um, and and do it together um, so so they don't all crumble Um, at the start of the show, Reg is a little bit of a go-lucky, um, free fellow. Um, you know, he kind of revels in his isolation. Um, he 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 loves it, and, and he loves that he can float between everyone and 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 poke a stick at them. Um, he has he has a sort of uh, position of leadership without actually being a leader, which um, is 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 very cool because everyone knows it without saying it. Um, so he's that undertone character um, that kind of yeah is is underneath everyone and, and and knows everyone's secrets, but is probably the most loyal person there, which is which is why he knows all the secrets. Um, well, I think once once he you know decides to dodge the draft and his life changes a little bit you know he's he goes through certain experiences that kind of pull him towards a certain way of thinking that he didn't necessarily have before that um, that kind of gives him a new perspective on what's happening around him and his friends uh, and that's kind of you know something that he has to battle with in his own personal life with his family and his and his relationship with the snapper and so that's kind of his, his motivation is sort of, you know, this chaos around him and him trying to be that, you know, underlying person that used to be stable with, with, with all of that. But now the thing that he's underneath is crumbling. So it's not that he needs to fix it or wants to fix it. it it's, it's, it's that he's the only person that realizes it needs to be fixed. Yeah, Trotter and Snapper's relationship, you know, they're, they're brothers. Um, I, you know, I, I see them as, as two brothers that have, you know, grown up together um, through thick and thin and have seen the worst of both sides and have seen the best of both sides and know each other's skeletons, uh, everything. And, you know, I think when, when because, because Reg goes through what he goes through, he, obviously isn't around Snapper for his moments in a way where he may have could have been in, in, in the past. And so there's, there's an unravelling that kind of happens and kind of, you know, falls out of Reggie's grasp, you know, that, that, that brotherhood kind of falls out of his grasp and it's something that, you know, kind of rekindles at the end that is, that is you know, beautiful and, and, and that arc of that friendship, of that brotherhood is um, something that me and Ben really enjoyed playing with, yeah. Um, <laughs> Ben, Ben brings a lot, you know, Ben's, Ben's a big, a big personality and um, so is Snapper, um, but Ben's also a very um, empathetic person as well, um, rep, rep cancers, um, you know, we're, we're emotionally stubborn people, um, so, you know, he, he has the bite and the, and the, you know, the audacity of, you know, Snapper and that, you know, you know that bigness that that he has, but he also has that innocence that is um, really really fun to work with because Reggie's a subdued character. So, so I can bring that relatability with Snapper's character through that subduedness. That subduedness. I just made a word up. Um, that 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 he has, um, which is which is great. I think that's something we found on the first scene that we had together. Um, 
you know, we really found we just made a choice and we we're like, yeah, no, we've 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 grown up together. Like like we're like we're brothers. And so we don't need to say like we we have an unspoken dialogue together that's almost telepathic. Um, and by choosing that and finding that in the scene and feeling that, it was like, oh, there's there's something to really play with. And that was really exciting. And yeah, it's something that hopefully comes through on screen. Sean brings brings a lot to Trotter and, and you know, he 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 tries very hard to 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 um you know to make Trotter a person that we can also see both both sides of his story, you know, someone someone that we can understand yet also disagree with at, at the same time. Um, so then we can look at that ourselves and and see our own mistakes and realize, okay, maybe we do have a bad side. Again, it's about the tools and 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 how we deal with that and not let it out and in, a, in an emotional and destructive way. And you know, Sean Sean's been fantastic at trying to find that and level that balance and and really make sure that it's there and and it's been fun to great great to watch him do that and and have scenes with him because you know you you, you get to be creative Reggie's relationship to Danny is similar to um, snappers um, another thing that we all decided was kind of like it was a trio um, you know, they've always kind of been the, the, the three musketeers in um, Wagonga, if I've said that right. Yeah. Um, yeah, they've always been like the three musketeers, you know, and, 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 and nothing came, came between them. And, and that was something that, you know, we all worked on together, especially with, with, with Sophia. And then obviously her and Reg's relationship, Danny and Reg's relationship, you know, there was something a little bit more to that. Um, you know, and, and we found kind of an innocence in their relationship that was a little bit different and separate to everyone else's relationships, where they're a little bit more chaotic and destructive. Um, and this one was a little bit more um, focused and, and knew what it, well, what it wanted, but it just had a bad outcome, um, which was something that we, you know, enjoyed to explore. Um, so, yeah, it, 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 you know, having, Having that friendship, that trio, is important because we set up a family for Reg and for Danny and for Snapper that they ultimately need, um, no matter what they go through. Um, and that's really cool that their arc kind of does go through that, you know, turmoil and then has to, you know, rise like a phoenix. Sophia brings a lot to Danny. She's she brings a lot of emotion and 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 a lot of content and a lot of um, you know fury um, that I think Danny needs. Um, and you know she needs to stand up against big personalities like you know Ben and Sean and me. You know. <laughs> um, I think because Reg is all knowing, he's very intriguing to play. Um, for that reason, and he's got a, a sort of wisdom to him, to to the point where he's aware of his own mistakes and and things that he needs to deal with. Um, whether or not he's not dealing with them, if they do arise, he will deal with them. Um, so I, that's that's something that I find very intriguing because I've never really had to, I've never played a lot of characters that have been quite assertive and and and, and know what they're doing um, for many reasons. Um, and so, yeah, so that was very intriguing and, and that was something that I really was excited to, to delve into because, you know, he wasn't someone that, that was on signs. Um, you know, there was a different type of rivalry. It was, it was internal. It was an internal rivalry. It was, it was more, you're all breaking, you're all breaking loyalty to each other. Like, what are you doing? Like, it's not about this. It's about this. Like, come on, guys. And I love that I get to play that character because that's kind of me. <laughs> I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> Some of the training, I've, look, I've, I've grown up skating um, and I've grown up dancing, so I've kind of, I, I know my body well enough to know my balance, my own balance and stuff like that. So, um, you know, having the lessons with them was actually quite, a, really great experience because I kind of surprised myself and, and learnt it quite quickly and 
you know, I think there was one morning where we went out and it was raining beforehand and, you know, you're kind of like, oh, God, I don't want to go out. And then you go out and then the rain stops and then the sun shines through the clouds and then you're just sitting there and there's no set coming and it's all quiet and then you just see a wave pop up, uh, a whale pop up and then some dolphins and you just go, I get it. I totally get it. And from that point, I was just like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to buy a surfboard. I'm going to, I'm going to buy a wetsuit. We're going to move to the coast. Uh, and yeah, yeah I, I, I totally get that lifestyle and what a beautiful tool. What a, what a beautiful tool to have to help you through anything that you have going on in life. Some of the main things that I discovered in that period, something that I actually didn't know in that period was a lot of the surfing culture and, and, and their politics within that, within that period, um, which was very different, but also re reminiscent of what was going on around them, um, which was kind of interesting when I, when I did look into it and, and you know, like, like their, their, their views on war and, 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 and stuff like that, but, you know, it was kind of like double-sided, you know. It, it, it wasn't just one fucking view. We're just we're just hippies, you know. It, it, it wasn't that, you know. They they kind of had their own righteousness, which which I found very interesting and something that I found interesting as well is that even though that was there in the '70s because of what was very you know prevalent around them, you know, that kind of carried on throughout throughout the ages, and that's kind of the surfing shtick. In that, in that culture, which I found very interesting. Um, and yeah, and you know, just, just what people go through in that time. Like, you know, you have someone drafting, you know, the Vietnam War, like, I mean, dodging the draft to the Vietnam War, like, that's, 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 that's such a huge thing in that time, you know, and, and it, it really brings it, it onto an international platform uh, and, and brings the world in to relate with that, yeah. I think people are going to take away not 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 forgetting that they have those tools and 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 devices. It, whether that's 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 your friend, especially during all this lockdown and during all this mayhem and stuff, you know, to not to not forget you were all right before this. You're, so you're still all right. Yes, yes, everything's a bit manic and and restricting, but um, but those tools are still there. You know, however small they are. Um, and, they're, and they're still there and, 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 you know, friendship is everlasting. Yeah, Reg's, Reg's given me, Reg's given me the value of loyalty and, and the value of honesty um, and, 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 and truth, no matter, no, no matter what the situation is or how bad you've done, the truth is always a better outcome. Um, and that's something I, I, I knew, but that's something Reg reinforced. Um, and of course, surfing. Like I'm really, really taking that. I, I, I understand where that connection to freedom that these characters have comes from. Like, yeah, it's 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 beautiful. Invent boogie boards. But like it's a joke, so like they're drinking and it's just like, oh, you know, I've got this idea, right? Like, what about a really, really short surfboard? What on your knees? No, 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 on your belly, and like to like move down the waves, you gotta like do this. What the fuck are you talking about? What, what, what do you call it? You just call it a boogie board, you know, because you're boogieing, you know.